at him. He won't be in it soon. Yeah, he's just come in. And I can't remember uh, where he's Rob coming to the table on Reds. Yeah. Don't know what he's looking at here. He could possibly try a treble on that red on the left hand side and just screw back to this bottom rail as a shot to nothing. Yeah. Then all his if it doesn't go in, all his yeah. balls are out into open play. Yeah, I think he's having a look at that now. It's hard to tell the angle he's got. Yeah, it's hard to see if he can miss the yellow by playing that. Yes. Yeah, he's chose to glance off it, try and contain it a little bit. Nice start for you today, John. For one of the singles. Yeah, um, wasn't wasn't pretty, but I got the win. Um, that's all that matters, isn't it? It is a knockout pool. Yeah, you just want to just keep going. So at, some, at some point, yeah, you hope to play well. But yeah, it wasn't wasn't a good game at all. Both of us weren't very good, and I just managed to scrape it for one. <laughs> Could have quite easily have lost, to be honest. Play again at five? I believe so. Not sure who I've got. Not, don't really look at um, the draws or anything like that. Two chaps here talking about tips while we're trying to commentate. So I'll give him a tip. Go and talk somewhere else. I agree. I'm trying to sell another stream here. Unbelievable. All right, Sam. Calm down. I do, mate. You're unbelievable. Your stream is the best I've ever seen. Well, I'll hand it to Sam. It does get better each time. It does. That's some of the equipment he's got here just in front of us. It's unbelievable. from Rob that I think he was trying to just get him behind the red on the top rail yeah I think but I don't know is it a Northern Irish guy Mark Miller I'm not sure if Mark can still clear from I don't know if he's got the angle to go into the red mm. and yellow he's having a good look at it I thought he had the angle looking at the way he played the uh, yeah, into the middle. I think he's still got the angle to thin snip this. And I think he'll hit that red. He's got to pot it thin, though. Yeah, he's played that well. Yeah, he's played that really nice. You've just got to trickle this in the way the pockets are playing, obviously. Brand yeah. new tables. Yeah, just roll this in. Um, you shouldn't miss it, really. Uh, oh, he's just tried to take the white a bit, I think. Yeah. Um. He's done well to avoid the knuckles with that one, I'm afraid. Is it a free shot at the uh, red on the right hand side? Yeah, I think so. It's a bit I don't think he needs to go for it, but he can. I don't like that because Mark could actually maybe smash it off the black. Or yeah, could it's a crazy call. I'd rather have played the right, red on the right hand side. And then if maybe you pot it and you're not in a great position to clear the frame, then maybe. Yeah. 
That's why I didn't like Rob's shot. He's actually been he's been a little been, bit unlucky. Yeah. I know he's, he's playing for a little bit of luck there to be on the black, but you, you don't You'd expect, expect a shot. Yeah, of course. You won't expect to be on a double or... Yeah. Knowing you as well as what I do know, you'd be playing the double in the middle there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Or two cushions, top bag, top right, if he's got that angle. Yeah, if the red's not in the way. He's played your go. shot. He's played it. Oh, that's a great shot. He's played that really well. That was a great shot. That's a good shot. And Rob will be spewing now. That yeah, he'll be, he's uh, not. He'll be kicking himself at that because he's kind of let him have that opportunity by yeah, yeah. playing that ready did. The score to confirm. I believe it's one nil to Mark. Yeah, I think that was the first round. Yeah. Race to four. Yeah, it's brutal. First to four is it's it's a bit of a lottery. Do you think um, they are up in the race after round one? Yeah, okay. I think obviously there's that many round one matches to get through. I mean, yeah. there's a last 256 in the men's. Right. Okay. Look at the eye avoid. Yeah, is it similar for the women's as well? Is it that many in the women's? I'm not sure how many are in the ladies' section. Singles. In the seniors. That's also race to four. Oh, right, OK. In the seniors that I'm in, that's, that's um, one to eight. So are you in the last 64 now? I hope so. Because it was a really bad performance. <laughs> Chance for Rob to put that right after the first round. Yeah, got ball in hand. Behind Bulk. Yep. Well, it's not ball in hand, is it? Yeah, anywhere beyond the line. Yes, yeah, so it's not ball in hand, is it? Ball in hand is like anywhere. Anywhere you can put it. Not in these rules, Kyle. Licking this red out and going red, or are you trying to disturb them down the bottom and go yes? I'd be looking at reds myself. I think it has to be yellows now, don't it? No, no, still playing red at the bottom left. Let's see that. Well, that's gone wrong straight away. I'd be glancing off this one and try and get a snooker. I don't think that bottom red of the two that are together goes in this bottom corner now. It's always hard to tell on the screen. But I think Rob would have got down and played it already if it did. Mark hasn't got a chance of playing it now. He's got lucky there, Mark did. That could have easily have gone completely wrong. Dropped on to his worst yellow into the middle. Yeah. And then now has a great opportunity to go to the middle. Did 
this clearance. He should make this clearance really for 2-0. But sometimes it's easier said than done, isn't it, Kyle? Yeah, definitely. Would you be taking the, the yellow nearest to you into the middle now? Yeah, I think middle, middle. Just leave yourself low on the next yellow. Yeah. Just to stun out. I'm not sure he's overly happy with that. Give it a look as if he's a bit straight. So we might have to leave it a bit more distance. Oh, he's milked it. Yeah. He overscrewed that, but he can still pot it. Yeah, he's milked that big time. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah, he's took them out nice. That's 2-0. That's another frame that Robert will kick himself over. Yeah, 2-0 to Mark. It could quite easily be the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have to be clinical and take your chances when you get them. Yes, especially on these short races, every, every frame is well, it's vital. Every yeah. frame is a turning point. I could not have put that any better myself. Cheers, John. That's an incredible comment. Cheers. Very clever. <laughs> Rob's gone in off on the break. And this, this is what happens. It, you make one or two errors and it ends up going from bad to worse. The, uh, the poor gods do not forgive. No, they don't. I think we must have an issue with the app because there's no scores on anything at the minute. Yeah, I think he's looking at leaving these two yellows at the bottom of the screen. I think he's looking to leave them till last, but I'd have been I'm not sure about that. I'd have done it the other way, I think. I think you could still go middle now, yeah, and then bottom left, and then you've got the yellow over the hole. Yeah. If that black goes in the left middle, um, I can understand it a little bit more. a good shot here just to make sure that he's on his next yellow yes. if he is playing the one over the pocket yeah this is why I didn't like this one that much leaving this this shot to get on the next yellow is a is a really tough shot especially on these tables yeah when they're so deep into the pocket yeah and I don't think he's on it I think he's underdone that 
That's why it was such a difficult way to go. He's he just calling total there. He's just called total. I think so. He was having a look to see if he could cut this yellow on the bottom round, wasn't he? him another shot yeah I think Rob was Rob will be looking to play safety I wonder if he's moved that yellow safe I don't think he's got an easy safety mm. unless he can get through to the one the middle of the bottle yeah. the top right yeah I think he can and, and I think if he you just half half ball it on the right hand side. Yeah. Get the white near the book line on the right hand side. I think um, he might get the cover on that. But then that will leave the other one to bat double. Andy Lucas has gone for it. Well done, Andy Lucas, the legend. Play the pot here. A bit of a shot to that then. Right. I've, I've, I've got my preferences, but um, it's not as bad as it's as it made out. I believe that this makes the game look a lot easier. Yeah. This cloth. Yeah. And Mark's got the spider out. Yeah, that makes it a lot more difficult. That's not a shot I'd have been playing, to be honest. As a last resort, I'd have been trying to crash the double in because it's, yeah. it's hard to win um, a fudging frame and a safety battle with one ball on the table. Yeah, you would imagine that Rob's going to have him in a snooker now and he's just developing one near the rail now. Uh, yeah, he's made it so that he has to hit a cushion now after contact, yeah. not leaving it totally where he could roll up. Yeah, a lot of people in that situation will say, yeah, I'll just get the snooker. But sometimes you're better off not leaving the snooker. So you, you stop the roll-up. So it's going to be a lot harder now for Mark to get a good safety from this. I think he's looking at top cushion, side cushion, and cutting the yellow in. This would be one hell of a shot. I mean, it's there, it's possible. And I think if he gets it, the white's going to naturally run out to be on the black into the right middle. Yeah. Well, that's a good effort. Yeah, it was a good effort. Him. Hard to judge the uh, cushions at the moment. Yes. Would you, uh, now he's got a free shot, would you put the yellow safe? Craig Waddingham asking how the trip was from Stoke. It was actually, uh, it was all right. I stopped once for the toilet. Dude didn't drive into any lorries. It was quite calm. I suppose that's always a bonus when you're driving and you don't crash. Yeah, I think it was because of the way uh, Deej lost on oh, uh, Saturday night. Oh dear, I didn't see it. Um, he so lost 10 9 to Chris Mellon from 9 6 up. 9 6 up? That's going to be a tough one to take. Yeah, but um, was it £100 for fuel? No. Oh dear, Rob. Come on, Robbie. A lack of confidence in that shot, I think. 
It is. He's not got any rhythm at all at the minute. out now. No more chances. He's got to take this. And I expect him to take it. But, uh, going back to what Craig asked, £100 for your note wasn't, it was £30. And I've still not paid it yet. <laughs> I owe dudes £30. Wasn't he coming to Brid anyway? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he was coming to Brid anyway. So, right. He's still trying to charge you. That's yeah. a good point. I might not pay. No. <laughs> oh, Robert. I don't know if he's actually missed that or it's rolled off. I'm just trying to gauge from his reaction. He just shook his head, so I'm not sure. I think he's missed it. Oh dear. Oh dear. I feel like if Rob just gets these two reds in, gets the black in, I feel like he's just going to win the match 4 2 because he'll be thinking of how I won this frame. But yeah. Mark would have been feeling the same if he would have won it. Yeah. But it's a bit different when you're about to go 3 0 down or when you could have gone 3 0 up. Yeah. It's, it's what we were talking about before about the pool gods. I mean, Mark's had what three, four bites at the cherry to make it 3 0 first of four. Yeah. He's not took it. Now, all of a sudden, that feeling can change. Yeah. I know Rob will be absolutely fuming with the uh, performance so far, but also quite relieved it's only 2 1. Where the comments have gone, Sam's took them off us. Yeah, I reckon he's done that to have a go at you, John. I've just asked him to put the comments back on, he's trying to sort the scoreboard out. So just bear with us. We will try and uh, what scoreboard. Exactly. Mr. Radford. Get him in the bus driver somewhere. The bus driver. Is that is that a local competition? Yeah, it's a local competition in Swabbing Coat. Good standard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about 80, 80, 90 runner, so take some winner. Yeah. Any good players in it? Yeah, yeah, I mean. Come on, David, but. Some, uh, some uh, good talent on show. Fester, keep the comments um, pleasant, please, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Any games coming up? Uh, I do, yes. 
Michael Tomlinson. Away first at Murphy's. Gary Marshall. 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 Two one two Mark Miller. Yes. Sam's just having a little bit of a mess about with the scores. Top man. We've got an issue with the uh, scoring app at the minute. Um, so not everybody's using the app. There's a problem. So we can only put scores up that other people are using or that we know of, unfortunately. I'm sure that'll get sorted as soon as possible. Yes, it's, it's two one to Mark Miller, first of all. <laughs> Cheers, Scott. I do all right at commentating. My tip for the bus drivers on this. I don't know. Let me actually go and have a look on my phone now. Are you in it, Kyle? No, mate, I'm here. Yeah. What sort of standard is it, then? It's um, players who don't play county. Oh, right, OK. OK. Or, like, some county city max. On table six, Michelle Curry, Sebastian Kutzi. Right, OK. So basically, if you're not very good, you can answer it. Uh, you can enter it. Yeah. OK. Just sort of uh, giving the bus drivers a chance to win a couple of quid, trophy. Yeah. And at, the same okay. at the same time, if you have a look at uh, 80 runners. With 80 reserve. runners? 80 runners. With wow. Wow. With reserves, having a look at it now. I think Cam Wheatcroft is definitely another chance. Yeah. No chance. <laughs> no, I actually do think he's got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> he's fester, isn't it? Yeah, he hasn't got a chance. No chance. He has got no chance. <laughs> really? Like, on ability, he definitely does have a chance, but he is like. A warrant. He can't concentrate for that long to win the tournament, I don't think. But on ability, he can. He can pot a ball, can't he? Yeah, pot a plum swad. I think Jack Gladden, is he not? He's been deep in the bus driver before. Um, Fester, would I like to enter? No, thank you. I'm sure I've I've fell enough in the, my pool career to enter it now, but but no, I'm all right, thank you. I think if you was a bookie, you would love to do a book on that bus driver tournament because there's probably like 20, 30 that could win it, like if not more. How do we get in the bus driver comp? Um, I don't know, we're not running it. I think you just, you can't be at a, a great standard. They're trying to do it for players that are a certain ability. So um, contact Vinny, Sean. They weren't that short, are they? Why, is he any good now? They weren't that short, are they? Fair enough. Shot by Mark, yellow down the rail. Looking like going 3 1. 
Yeah, I mean, these are unmissable, really, aren't they? Yeah, it's, um, it's almost like impossible to go wrong. Yeah. We've just got to soft screw this in to bring the white across about six, seven inches. Commentating suits your job. Hmm. Just to be fair. Do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's not my kind of thing. I can't stand it. I don't mind it. It's it's um, it's okay. Um, I'm not sure I'm serious enough to be a commentator full time. But there's no way that me and you would be on here if it weren't well playing. No. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't commentate. There's not many people I'd like to commentate on, to be fair. Sean Johnson, I'm worse now, John. <laughs> and yes, you're one that I wouldn't commentate on, Sean. Thank you. I don't know if I could do this as a career path. What could I comment on? Like, give it a bit? Like Sid Waddell used to be? I think if it was, like, pool related do you think you could do it as a job? Um, no. I think, I think you're too harsh. Possibly a little bit too harsh. Um, but I remember commentating at the IPA World a few years ago. Um, Did you get pulled out of the event because of it? No, Mark Farnsworth told me to be quiet. So I thought, um, apparently, I was a little bit loud. But I wasn't actually misbehaving or trying to... I was just talking too loud. But I think that must be a mistake from the organisation, surely, to put the... Not the organisation, the stream set up, to put it so close to the yeah, table. I'm, I'm not, I don't think it's so close to the tables now. Mm. It should always be separate, so you can actually yeah. get excited by certain shots. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I thought that was... Um, at the time, it was actually played like it was... Um, like I was basically in the morgue. It was that quiet. Um, and I think Paul should be played in loud atmospheres, um, not quiet ones. Yeah, definitely. As long as everyone's respectful. The event finishes Friday, I believe. Yes. Finals day is Friday. Yeah. Um, it is Black Ball rules, and I think this will be the last day. Friday will be the last day that Sam's streaming. Don't, I don't think he is doing in the 23s next week. Sam's just uh, informed us he's actually here for next week as well, Kyle. Oh, really? Yeah, he's staying for the, the entire Nations Cup, which is superb. That's brilliant, mate. That's I might come in with uh, Brooklyn next week, then. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with that. So what do you reckon Brooklyn would say? I'm not sure. If I said to him, me and you are on commentary. I think he'd do it. I don't think he'd last five minutes. <laughs> It'll get told off. Yeah, he would, yeah. <laughs> or me in the toe. You in the toe. No Charlie Begley. See, he's perfect for something like this. He's got the perfect face to be a commentator, Charlie Begley. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely better off behind the camera than in front of it. And I love that lad. Go on the toe. Good laugh listening to you two in Tenerife. Yeah, Duncan's living the high life up in Tenerife. Is that one of your mates, pal? Say again? Is that one of your mates? Yeah, we, um, we met through Dave and he's just living the high life in Tenerife at the minute. Happy days. So he's struggling away in Tenerife and we're in superb sunny Bridlington. Lucky Duncan, head up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we have got the seafront. The East Yorkshire seafront. Yeah. Um, the water looks incredible. 
Uh, it wasn't even dark brown yesterday. Um, it was lovely when the wind got up. Next match on table 19, Robert Hurley, Marcus Hansen. Robert Hurley, Marcus Hansen, table 19. Clearances for the win for Mark Miller. Yeah, winning chance for Mark. Killer Miller. Killer Miller. He's definitely played the better of the two here. A little bit short. No, it's come out. Is it enough. Free one, yeah. yeah, I think this is for the match. So he's gonna, he's gonna have to play this low on the cue ball. Yeah, just to hold on to the right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and Mark's just beat Rob Chambers by four frames to one. And knowing my brother, he'll be fuming with his performance, but he he won't be too disappointed at being out. So we've got well played Mark Miller. He definitely deserved the win. Yeah, definitely. Well played like you say, um, Rob won't be very happy with his performance. But I think in terms of like winning and going through to the next round, he won't be too disappointed about that. He'll be happy to get a bit of time. I think he likes watching like me and you, don't he? He likes chilling out, doing his own thing in his spare time because it is long days. <laughs> it's um, crazy long days. Um, and he gives so much towards your team as well. Yeah, he does. Um, but Here he is. He's literally just fist pumped, um, which is one way to celebrate losing. Playing it down to the last 16. I ain't been in here till midnight. No chance. There you go, you've just heard that for yourselves. Right. I have got the key, Rob, yeah. Right, I think that's us done in the commentary box. <laughs> this is why we're going for a game of crib. <laughs> this is why I wouldn't be a good commentator in pool. I've seen enough. Over and out. Enjoy yourselves, everybody. Enjoy the stream. Obviously, Lee's had a few. Fair play to him. Right, let's go and have a game of crib. Did you enjoy that expression?